Good morning. And this morning I want to talk about GeForce Now on the Xbox. And the reason I want to talk about GeForce Now on the Xbox is that it's been a while since I made my previous video and things have improved since then. Most notably keyboard and mouse support. I think things work a lot better with that now. But also Microsoft Edge itself. Microsoft Edge is a lot better than it was when I first looked at this. And uh, things like people were coming into my comments and saying, why are you not setting Microsoft Edge as your default browser? Well, I was, but it kept resetting itself. And so that's why I was getting that problem. But uh, as I say, things have improved now. And uh, I just wanted to go in and have a look at it and specifically talk about, as I say, keyboard and mouse support. As you can see here, I've got Microsoft Edge loaded up on my Xbox. And I don't know if you can hear the clacking, but that's my keyboard. I've actually got a keyboard set up to work with Xbox, which is nice. And uh, there are a few keyboard shortcuts, things like if you hit control, well, sorry, if you hit Windows M when you're over a game, the Windows key M, and it brings up this menu so you can go through and uh, go into your details about your game. So that's quite handy. There's a few of those. And uh, let me just uh, show you what they are. These are the ones I've got listed so far that I found on a site. And uh, yeah, they're quite useful. If you can uh, either have a list of those marked down or you can remember them, then so much the better. And that's quite handy when you're navigating the desktop. But as I say, we're interested in GeForce Now itself. So let's just get into that now. And as you can see, I've got GeForce Now up. And uh, as is usually the case with Edge, if you hit F11, it takes it to full screen, which is nice. And as you can see, I've got mouse support. Now, I just want to talk about this because uh, <laughs> mouse support has improved a lot, but I have found with my particular mouse, and it's a, a Corsair Dark Core mouse, uh, that when I was using it wirelessly, it kept losing connection. So you may have better or worse experiences than me with that. But now I've got it wired because for the, well, for the purposes of this video, I didn't want it dropping out every five minutes. It was driving me nuts. But as you can see, I've, I've got it up and, um, you can scroll through using the mouse wheel, which is quite nice. And basically use it like you would on a computer. The only problem I found is obviously, there are some limits to your searches and, and whatnot. I've got my, my library up here. If you uh, click on your library, you can scroll through. But it won't really tell you which ones work really well on, on the Xbox, which is a bit of a nightmare. Um, but, I, and I actually think the menus on GeForce Now are pretty poor, to be honest. I think they could be a lot better, especially when you're using them on something like the Xbox. But as you can see here, I've got Black Mesa up. And uh, <laughs> Black Mesa is a, a, a remake, if you like, of the original Half-Life and bloody good it is too. So if I click on it, it gives me the option to play it and I'm using my mouse and I'm going to go over and I'm going to load it up. And it'll take a while to load, but uh, as is usually the case with these uh, streaming services, once it's loaded, it should be fine. Your game pat, your game is paused. Okay, resume. Let's see what's going on. Ah, there you go. And as you can see, that was loaded in from Steam. And the reason I'm using uh, <laughs> Black Mesa is, well, basically, it's a keyboard and mouse game. I mean, you can get it working with a controller, but uh, yeah, it's not ideal. And as you can see, we're in. And you can go in and you can select options and various things and all that. But uh, I'm just going to go into campaign and I'm going to do, I'm going to go to office complex. Um, my saves on this game disappeared because uh, they did an update and it, it made it so your saves weren't working, which wasn't such a big deal for me because uh, I was really near the end of the game and the saves weren't working particularly well anyway. Uh, they kept getting corrupted, but Hopefully that's been sorted now. But that's nothing to do with Xbox. That's just the game itself. But we should load up the Office Complex. As you can see, I'm moving around here. And as you can see, there's the standard cursor on the screen, the, the game cursor, and not 
the Xbox cursor. Now, if I hit Windows key, or if you're lucky enough to have a keyboard that's got an Xbox key, you could hit that. But if I do that, that will now bring up home. And I could go home from there. Uh, or I can carry on. Now, if you see here, did you see that for a moment there? We had the cursor. Now, that sometimes appears. Now, when the cursor appears, if you hit the Windows key on your keyboard and then go back out again, as soon as you start moving in the game, it will disappear. So that's improved because it never used to disappear at all. And as you can see, I can move about. And, uh, oh, look, ah, they're dying. But I should be, let me see, can I go in here? No, that's not letting me in. I've got to go somewhere along here, I think. But as you can see, the game is working perfectly. I'm using my left mouse button. Now, what do I use to duck? Not sure what I use to duck. Oh, F, F for flashlight. There you go, for flashlight. It's all, it's all working perfectly. And... Uh, yeah, if you go here, I think I can use C to crouch. And I can go in there. So I'm going to put F for flashlight on, and now I can see where I'm going. And uh, just remember, again, this is on the Xbox. I'm playing Black Mesa on the Xbox. And just to prove it, I'm going to load up the Xbox menu again. <laughs> and uh can't scroll through with the mouse, but I can scroll through with the keyboard. I can even go in and look at my achievements and all the rest of it. And uh, as you see, the cursor's back, but as soon as I hit the left mouse button, it goes away again, and I can carry on playing, except for my... Ah, there you go. My keyboard was taking a moment to come back on. It wasn't registering in-game straight away, so there was a bit of a, a momentary bit of lag there. But yeah. Can't get out that way. You need to go this way. Oh. Where is he? He's down here somewhere. Got him. Oh, got some more, more gun. More. Oh, here's another one. Die, you little sod. I ate these face crabs. <laughs> these face crabs are uh i don't know if any of you guys have got vr but in vr the face crabs are bloody horrible <laughs> and they scare the living daylights out of you i've got an oculus quest 2 and uh i've been playing half-life alex and uh yeah it's not ideal <laughs> i wonder if i can pick this up there you go and throw it can I get in this door? Don't know. We'll soon see. No, can't get in there. It's been a while since I played Half Life, so uh, not exactly sure where I'm going here. But as I say, that shows you that I can play the game. And uh, if I hit Escape and then Escape again, that brings up the menus, and I can hit. And bear in mind, I'm using my mouse for this. Hit Quit. I'm going to select don't save because I'm just doing this for the for the benefit of the video. And uh, yeah, you can... Oh, where have I gone? You can go through. Let's go up one more. Use my mouse. We've got all these games up here. We've got Dusk. We've got Wreckfest. I could load up Wreckfest. That's on Xbox anyway. But if I wanted to load that up and play it, I could. Now, I wouldn't necessarily want to try Armour 3. Although, having said that, you've got keyboard and mouse, so um, you should be able to get it up and running on your Xbox through GeForce Now. And uh, <laughs> those slight issues aside with the, you know, the cursor showing up in game, but it will go now like, you know, before it wouldn't. Uh, I've got some issues with my wireless mouse disconnecting from the Xbox, which is a pain in the, in the neck. But other than that, this this is working really, really well now. And previously I said I wouldn't bother with this to play games. 
you know, I, I, I didn't think it was worthwhile. I thought it was just a curiosity and it was interesting. But now, now I think that this is actually really playable, especially if you're going to be using it with a keyboard and mouse. If you've got a keyboard and mouse that you can connect up to your Xbox and you want to play GeForce Now through your Xbox, say, you know, I don't know, maybe you haven't got a PC or something, but you want to try out GeForce Now. It's working really, really well, better than ever. And I can, you know, see that it's only going to get better as time goes on. And uh, let's just go back just to show it's all working. Yeah, and I can go back into it again. As you can see, it's all working really well. And uh, yeah, even my mouse is working now. If I'd have done that with my wireless mouse, it would have uh, stopped working. But yeah. I really like it, and I, and I think it's really worth investigating now. Uh, and it wasn't necessarily nine months ago. But anyway, that's me done. I'm going to go and grab myself a quick cup of tea, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Bye.